the grand old people of Streatham, the old age pensioners of the district, have been provided with a snug little refuge all their own with the opening of the Derby and Joan Club, believed to be the first of its kind in Great Britain. There are 3,000 pensioners in the neighbourhood, and it was felt that, in the spirit of the beverage plan, they should have not only a pension, but a place. A place where they can go for recreation and a chat, and if need be, advice on any question that may be causing them anxiety. So the first guests are welcome to the opening. Most of them are Derbys and Jones. Some of the Derbys have lost their Jones, and some of the Jones their Derbys. But none of them will ever lose the esteem of their fellows. The club is officially opened by Lord Solbury, MC. He gives the members a very warm welcome and tells them that they must always regard the place as their very own. The Darbys and Jones smile their agreement. Even at their age, they can still believe in Father Christmas. They've been together now for 40 years and it don't seem a day too much. Albert Chevalier's famous old song comes to life again as we watch the old people still together enjoying a moment of happy relaxation at their own club. All right, Dad. Mum's the word. From the point of view of convenience, the Derby and Joan Club is ideally situated. It's near Streatham Hill Station and the High Road, so that it isn't far to walk from either. Among the many amenities in the large clubhouse is a dining room where the old folk can get a well-cooked meal for eightpence. Here's a specimen. No waiting in queues at the food shops, no trouble in cooking for themselves. They can get all they want at their club, sometimes much more than they want, and all for eightpence. And do they enjoy it? Well, look, clean plates is the order of the day and every day. Lord Solbury and Mr. David Robertson, MP for Streatham, chat with some of the members. It's a great day in the memories of the old people of the district. There's a billiards room too. Good for you, Dad. Besides reading rooms, restrooms, smoking rooms, yes, and even bathrooms. And the club is staffed by members of the Women's Voluntary Service. But more voluntary contributions are wanted. Help us to keep the old uns young by sending a donation, however small, to Mr. David Robertson, MP, 16 Liam Court Road, Streatham, South West 16. On behalf of the Darbys and Jones of Streatham, thank you. <laughs>